Goal one. There was some real cracker magic from the Cracker Brothers, Phil and Jim, in that first quarter, and John Kennedy's North Melbourne were looking really good. They'd showed some uh, encouraging signs in the night game against Collingwood about ten days ago in the first round, but nobody expected them to do that to Footscray in the first quarter, the Bulldogs having beaten Carlton in the first round. In the second quarter, Footscray did the same to North Melbourne and had a lead by half-time. They led by two points after kicking eight goals to one themselves in the second quarter. In the third quarter, Footscray went away again and led by three goals at three-quarter time. We were down for a thrilling last quarter. It got a lot closer than that during the last term. So with Footscray leading by 18 points, we pick it up at the start of the last quarter and with me, Doug Hayward. Chewing gum. start the final term with Footscray in front, 94 points to 76, 14-10 to 12-4, down it goes from Purser, Gronawegan kicks off the ground downfield, somebody was held and the free kick is going North Melbourne's way, David Dwyer's with the ball, that's Laurie Dwyer's son and he's got some talent as young David, Glenn Dinning, not, not, not looking like being in the marking duel then, and then they're all tumbled on top of the ball with Keith Grigg on the forward line there too, number 27, there'll be a bounce. Purser, but straight to Dwyer, spills to Schimmelbush, high to full forward, knocked out by Kennedy, Jim Cracker, too quick for Jonas. Egan. Foster. And a good kick towards centre wing. Bronner Wigan. Gregor clever tap in board to Moore. Back to centre half forward. Foster and Glendinning. In front, Jim Cracker. Nobody back in the goal square. Ooh. He needed an off break. Yes, he needed a slight turn. He needed to swing it and turn it off the pitch. It bounced very, very straight. Kick off by Ford. In front is Purser. Might have taken a free kick that time too. As the ball goes over the line out of bounds, as the opponent was Rod Lewis, who was the Fitzroy player and the university player. Glenn Dinning and Purser. Hawkins. Glenn Dinning follows on very cleverly. Gets his kick but doesn't cover any distance at all as he's under pressure. And it's taken over the line out of bounds. Seventeen points the difference, and even though North haven't looked at, looked like it in the last two quarters, they're just close enough to be able to uh, make a game of it if they kick the next couple of goals. Royal dangerously across the face. Phil Cracker's got pace and skill. Cordy, good persistence. Egan, and a delightful hand pass to Wallace. Daniels on centre wing. Nobody in front of him for 70 metres. He's passed to the forward line, Sewell, and it bounces to Holt. Back it comes, all good tackle, Daniels. I thought he held Harrington a long time, Sewell, downfield. Here comes Bamblett once again, racing goalwards, and kicks it across the face of goal, and just gets through for one behind. You disappointed Les Bamblett after that one. in by Smith. Oh, Edmund again. There was interference before the ball got there. He pushed out his opponent, Law. Free kick to the north man. Right half back flank. Up to centre wing, Glenn Dinning, the only north player there. Foster beats him. Well, that's just not true Glenn Dinning form to be outpointed so completely by Peter Foster. Ronald Wigan was in front, out it goes to Jim Edmund, who shoots for goal, kicks it long and straight, Jim Sewell underneath it, it's punched away from him by Peter Smith, and he is very, very pleased with Peter Smith to see that ball trickle through from behind, because there was the long boot of Jim Sewell just about a couple of inches away from it. 
he was a full forward in Western Australia, Sewell. Beasley off the ground, injured with a shin for this last quarter. At the front of the pack, Daniels. Nobody in the goal square. Shocking defence by North. Well played, Daniels. And he just took advantage. Second goal to Alan Daniels. It's a very clever opportunist goal, that one. There was per Percy got a lovely knockdown. And then he had a good look and saw open goal. And it was a pretty long kick that he got through, but it was very nicely done. Rod Lewis hits it out towards Jimmy Cracker. He's caught from a good tackle. Oh, a free could have gone to Steve McPherson too. Bahaj is with it, or was it Royal it was? Back it comes towards McLean. McLean goes down with the ball. Jim Cracker hits it along. He's a great contester as Jimmy. Picked up by John Law. Boots it down the Glendinney direction and the Foster. Foster almost took a good one again. Well played, Peter Foster. Kick off the ground out wide, gives a chance to Phil Cracker. Phil Cracker then kicks it under pressure, doesn't know where the ball is. David Dwyer pulled across the neck was Egan. Egan breaks away brilliantly. And back to half forward. Off Gronner Wigan it goes. And intercepted by Maguire. Quick transfer to Greg. Greg's kick, badly directed. Brad Hardy on his chest at half back. Hardy back towards the wing. Purser out number two to one. At the back, Bahagia. Oh, good shepherding by Royal allows Bahagia a free run at it. Edmund draws a man, finds Gronner Wigan. Sewell one out, well placed. Still a chance to recover and will kick a goal. That's a good, nice piece of soccer, I thought he had tons of time to pick it up. And I'm sure he didn't quite realise that, but he soccered it beautifully, as straight as a dog. Six and a half minutes gone in the final turn. And the scoreboard shows Footscray 108, North Melbourne 77. That's five goals, one the difference, so it's pretty much all over. Nice interception, David Dwyer. Long kick down towards the forward line. Very nicely done, Rick Kennedy. Kennedy then drives out wide to the brilliant Stephen Wallace, who's been a fine player. He gets a bad bounce. Across it comes towards David Dwyer. His kick goes downfield once again. In front is Lyle, was never in front, was Lyle. Kennedy came out and took it, but uh, ran it over the line. It's out of bounds. Keith Gregg wins the tap, but it's all Footscray to recover. Kennedy, Glenn Dinning, trips over Kennedy, who was on the ground. Larkin, he's a left footer, but that's across the face. Cordy at the back, and in front, Holt takes it. Fury, and the mark not paid. Yes, it is. Yes. So, Anthony Fury, yet to get a score in the match. 31 points the difference. I fear it's all too late. After North, kicked 8-2 to 1-1 in the first quarter. They've gone ta -da since then. Fury has got it. So I think that was a good umpire's decision. Any doubt that it was Tony Fury on first purchase, disputed with Brian Cordy, but certainly there was no doubt who got second bite at it, and I think the decision was a good one. Brian Cordy really disagreed violently, not violently, but vehemently. Umpire James, and now it's Lyle back on the ball, and he can really jump. Gets it down, but Hawkins' 24th possession, been absolutely brilliant, sends it out where. Maguire's got the chance, never looked like it. It was pushed though, so he did it pretty well in that case. Takes a free kick, drives it out wide. Very comfortable to Ross Smith. 
He's got lots of time to give it towards Tony Fury, but he loses it when he does the balking. Now he'll have to come centrally in the, in the, in the direction of Glenn Dinning, who goes from the side and almost took a good one. Plays on gallantly, but then his hand pass was bad out to Brian Cordy. On it goes down towards the centre of the ground. Oh, North Melbourne players collide. Stephen Wallace sumps it down towards an open half-forward flank. Past Bamblin it goes. Nicely picked up by Daniels. Looking for somebody to give it to, which he gave to Bahadja. Bahadja a short one to Sewell is clever. Sewell couldn't quite reach at the path. Wasn't quite good enough. And Peter Smith kicked it out of danger temporarily. Dwyer. Dodges away from Wallace. To half forward, but the North man slipped to the ground, regained his footing, Jonas, and took the mark. Glenn Dinning at centre half forward. Short pass, Fury again in the forward pocket. No, it's Larkin. And uh, left footer, narrow the angle from there. Coming up for his 11th kick. The margin 25 points. And he missed that. That's now four straight kicks. Short one by Michael Ford. Then slipped over as he kicked, tried to kick a long one outfield. It was a bad kick and the mark is taken by Larkin. Larkin has been uh, North Melbourne's best possession getter. Downfield it goes. Glenn Dinning's the leaper, unsuccessfully. Out it comes wide to Brian Cordy. He kicks it downfield. Missed there by Ross Smith, but he recovers nicely and kicks off the ground. Down towards centre half forward. Nicely picked up there by Fury. Out wide it comes to Larkin again. Larkin then drives for goal. Phil Crack is the man who got two hands to the ball but couldn't hold it through for yet another point. 23 points the difference. Puts Gray in front. North just in the last few minutes doing most of the attacking. If they could get on target, they could make a game of this yet. Foster crashes into them. Bahajia clever. And well done, Ross Smith, to back into his opponent and win the free kick. He might have won a sore back as well. <laughs> I think he was out to it for a minute. Lewis is at full forward. Well, there's nobody there except Purser. It was nearly taken away from me by Jonas, picked up by Bahaja, uh, by Egan. Egan out wide to Daniels, who's been very dangerous out there in that centre wing position, lurking. Good running this time by Ross Smith, frustrates the effort. And it's Hickey eventually who takes it over the line out of bounds. Bronner Wigan wins. Off the ground, Daniels. Law leads. Met by Edmund. Just gets the kick in. High to centre wing. Bahajir again. Bronner Wigan. But Lyle off the ground. Good hand pass. Larkin once more. To half forward. Phil Cracker with Egan. Oh, Michael Egan. Excellent mark. Well, that's a wonderful performance by Egan. Hey, taking his number. Well, I just wonder what that charge will be. There's no doubt about it, Phil Cracker was upset. Went right over the top of Egan, but I just would be very interested to see what the charge is. Whether it be unduly rough play. Glenn James is the man who pounced on Phil Cracker. And Egan has come back with great courage. He was completely outpointed in that back pocket for a while. But Michael Egan's got too much courage for that. He's fought, really fought back and become a prominent player for Footscray after half time. But that was an interesting incident. A wonderful mark of Egan's. Phil Cracker went tumbled over the top of him. And what was happening in that scuffle, I'm not sure. But he's reported as Phil Cracker. And Egan sent it down to the centre of the ground. Nice scouting. Picked up by McLean. McLean down looking for Sewell. Oh, what a strong mark. It's Neil Cordy on the ground. 
Neil Cordy's been brought on. He played very poorly for a quarter and a half. This talented young man who's played state football took a very strong mark and was in, was, is within kicking range. I guess 45 metres. Neil Cordy kicks for goal, across the face of goal. Taken, Jim Edmund. What a beautiful pair of hands. He's looking for a short pass at that difficult angle. That's his sixth mark. The Footscray captain, who has dropped at one stage last year, has been a very dangerous player on the half-forward flank. Runs around the man the mark a bit, kicks for goal, hits the post. Bad luck. Second poster for him today. Smith, half-back flank. Centre of the ground. Brian Cordy. Ross Smith. Chance for Footscray at the front. Socket by Jonas. Lux of fortune. Lewis, kick for goal, and he's hooked it. Gee, North have had a few chances in the last ten minutes. Yes, they could have made the game, could have made the game pretty close. It's halfway through the third term at the 15-minute mark. Out to Hardy. Hardy downfield looking for Wallace. Oh, how beautifully he did it and he dropped it. And he's tackled. Three to one against him. Picked up by Larkin having a very good final term and a perfect pass to Lewis. Perfect pass that time. Now Rod Lewis. Matthew Larkin has picked up about five kicks in the last ten minutes. Here's Rod Lewis. At 35, he's had six kicks for the quarter. Good kick, Rod, but just off direction and through for one behind. And that's another opportunity squandered. They've really had plenty of opportunities at three-quarter time. They were 12-4, and now they're 13-9. Michael Ford. Oh, Cordy pulled around the head, and Neil Cordy will take the free kick. Half back flank. Lead near the wing for Daniels. He infringed. North free kick to Shimmer. 17 minutes gone. 109 plays 87. 22 points the difference, which looks safe for Footscray, but if. North 1-5 had been, for instance, 4-2, might have been interesting. Shimmer's 11th kick and Ben Dinning takes the mark, and there's still a chance of making it interesting. Ben Dinning, who is a powerful kick, is a long way up. This is his 10th kick. He's now playing at centre-half forward. Need a good 60-metre one. It's right to the teeth of goal. Lewis in front, Kennedy with him. Hawkins goes up to Kicked off the ground and through. Jonas. Yes, Jonas it was. Good South Australian, or ex-South Australian. And he socketed it through, and they've taken a long while to register that second goal for the team. Goal number two, incidentally, to Peter Jonas. Well, the difference is less than three goals, so they've outscored Footscray in this quarter, and we're only at the 18-minute mark. So, it's not beyond the realms of possibility for North to snatch this. Persa, Law, North may be starting to take it away from the middle a bit more now. It's at half forward, oh, Foster lost sight of it. Jim Cracker, Glenn Dinning, 40 metres from goal. Phil Cracker should be a goal. And North are right back in it. Ten points the difference. Phil Cracker, goal number three. He really is... Supremely accurate is number eight. He had his number taken in this quarter. There's Foster beside him, Peter Foster, but Phil Cracker and Jimmy Cracker played some spectacular football, particularly in the first term. And that extraordinary knowledge they have of each other's game was highlighted. Umpire James. 
is Andrew Purser, who's had a fairly quiet day against Lyle. And once again, the chance is there for Larkin playing brilliantly. Out wide towards Phil Cracker and Egan again. Phil Cracker goes to ground. Jimmy Cracker with the ball. Free kick going to Phil Cracker. Well, could have almost played the advantage for it and let brother Jim keep running downfield that time. But the whistle had gone and umpire James' decision was that play had stopped. And he is one of our very top umpires and I'm sure he'd be right in this particular case. Here's Phil Cracker. A good long one can make it. He signals his intention. He's going to thinks he can do it. Long and high and straight. Won't quite make it. Off the hands of the packet went through for one bottle. Just nine points the difference now at the 20 minute mark in the last quarter. Well, Fitzgray might have started to coast a bit. Neil Cordy. And with him, Hickey. Well done by Hickey. Oh, Lewis got fingers to it. Still in, Lewis again. Out of bounds on the full across the face of goals. And the free kick to Hardy. And Jim Cracker saying, why didn't you hand pass to me, Rod? He should have. It was bad play. Hardy's caught. Glenn Denning comes in. Purses with the ball. Plus it goes to Daniels. Daniels downfield to Stephen Wallace. Misses it. Picked up by Dwyer and lost it. Royal. And Royal breaks from halfback. Switches direction. Hickey. Slips away from Neil Cordy. North lifting. They trail by just nine. Jonas drops one. Oh, real pressure there. Ford. Ball still in. Fury a chance. Up for grabs, but it's all Footscray back here. And Royal marks. And he's been one of the heroes of the Footscray side, as little Brian Royal. Comes in for his 21st kick and kicks it accurately. Short across to Brian Cordy. Down towards brother Neil. Hotly pursued by Phil Cracker. He'll be caught. He is caught. He'll be penalised. And he's had a bad quarter. He's had a bad day as Neil Cordy. And that was a very bad error. Phil Cracker hand passes across. Taken by Maguire. Maguire then hooks it back in the direction of Glenn Dinning. Up he goes. Schimmelbush there. And David Dwyer shoots for goal. Kicks it long and kicks it straight. And match is alive. Well, what a mistake by Neil Cordy. And how heavily was he penalised as David Dwyer the son of that brilliant wingster of yesteryear, Laurie Dwyer, kicks a very, very good goal. In this last quarter, North have doubled Footscray's score, 4-6 to 2-3, and the margin just three points with Footscray hanging on, 22 and a half minutes gone. Dwyer, Maguire, Greg, McPherson. North have found new zest. Schimmelbush. McPherson again. And good running by Edmund. He's looking for leads up the ground. Everyone covered. Long and high. Almost Bamblett. Still Bamblett a chance. Well played. A panel to Bahagia and he's goal. Did they need that? Les Bamblett has been a champion all day. He flew high for that mark and he struggled on the ground and got it out to Budgie and Budgie's goal was a good one. He had to kick it quickly but Bamblett full marks to him again. He's been by far their best forward. Simon Beasley's played well, but Bamlett has been magnificent. Twenty-three and a half minutes gone. Purser up and beaten by Lyle yet once again. Lyle's jumped brilliantly. Doug Hawkins hits it down towards Gronner Wigan. On the flank, it's picked up there nicely by Edmund again. Boots it down towards the pocket. Jim Sewell's got the chance. It's punched away from him. Bahaja with it. He's shepherded by Bamblett. Shoots from the angle for goal. And he loves a goal. 
and he's notched it. And they're two magnificent goals by Tony Bahaja. That's his fourth, but those two in those few moments have really got the game out of a very dangerous situation for the Bulldogs. Footscray back leading by 15 points. Twenty-four and a half minutes gone. Still time for North. They need three goals. Daniels off the ground. Edmund with Edmund with Maguire. Well done, Edmund. To McLean. Oh, then he went without it. But a chance for Edmund still. Still in. Holding the ball, rules umpire James. Free kick Maguire. Well. A lot of hard work was done by Jim Edmund. He's tried valiantly there. He's looked to me as if he's just running out of condition a bit. Been a good player all day for Footscray. Maguire, who started on the forward line, now on the back line. Down looking for Glenn Dinning. Glenn Dinning in front takes a clever, skillful mark in front of Foster. Now, there's no point in doing that, Peter Foster. You'll lose 15 metres. The mark was always there. Yes, 15 metres against Foster eventually. He asked for it. Glenn Denny comes in and drives it across field. A good-looking pass it was too, and Peter Jonas. That Glenn Denny raking pass. He kicks to position so perfectly. This is only Jonas's fifth kick. He's kicked one goal in this quarter. Now, Peter Jonas is only about 40 metres out, almost directly in front. High. And just off direction, one behind. Fourteen points the difference, 26 minutes last quarter. Ford not sure. Good long kick, Daniels. Almost to Schimmelbush. Little toe poke. Here's Schimmer. Twisting them inside out. Larkins. He looks a top player, this boy. Fury. From centre half forward, 45 metres. Glenn Dinning's there, and a good punch away by Kennedy. Desperate stuff by Rick Kennedy in that full-back zone, and it's needed. It's 107 points to North, 121 to Footscray. North in attack, Purser out wide, Jim Cracker, danger man, tumbles on the board, fights for it, down he goes again, play on, says the umpire. Well, he'll have to bounce it this time. And it's a bounce right in front of North Melbourne's goal. Four goals each in this last quarter, so there'll be a bit of time on. 27 minutes played, Persa wins. Phil Cracker, Jim Cracker, Schimmelbush, 40 metres from goal. Out wide to Dwyer. On the chest of Kennedy, and Footscray steady. Across to Hardy. Daniels a mile in the clear up near the wing, and it goes that way. He's oh, he the... dropped it. He's done that repeatedly, Dan does not drop it. He's gotten to the open so easily by himself. That was a very bad mistake. It was an easy one, but has been a very capable player all day for the Bulldogs. It's out of bounds in centre wing position with the difference 121 points it is to Footscray and 107 to North Melbourne. Runner Wigan taps it beautifully down to Dangles. He kicks it down towards an open half forward flank. It bounces towards the boundary line. Over the line it goes out of bounds. Very disappointed it was the little man Budge. It's out of bounds. Royal. Royal it was Brian Royal. 121 plays 107. 28 minutes gone. It's looking all the time now that it's going to be Footscray's. Free kick here to Mark Lyle. Towards the centre. Wallace in front. Greg Spoils. McLean. Well played. High to centre half forward. Law knocks it forward for North. Larkin. Good play. Now a chance for McLean. Through half forward he goes. On to Edmund. Straightens. Shrugs them off. Another goal will seal it. 
at full time and ran out winners by 26 points. In a strangely fluctuating game, North Melbourne losing it after leading eight goals to one at quarter time. For Footscray, Beasley five goals, Bahagia four, Daniels and Edmund each kicked three. And for North, Phil Cracker kicked three goals. And as well, Phil Cracker was reported 